that we engage in a study of town flooding issues for $100,000. Okay, shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $100,000 for the purpose of hiring a consultant engineering firm to study and report, report on the impacts of and solutions to flooding from the Hampton River and Hampton Harbor onto and along the west side streets off of Ashworth Ave, comma, Brown Ave, and the Island Path and Glade Path areas and the flooding that occurs from New Hampshire Route 101 north to Winnicunnet Road, including the Hampshire Route 1A <coughs> and in the area surrounding Meadow Pond, including High Street, Kings Highway, Gentian, Gen Gentian? Yeah, Gen yeah. never heard of Green, Green. Meadow Pond Roads, would set sum of $100,000 to come from the unassigned general fund balance, a fund containing unexpended appropriations from prior years, as of December 31st, 2017, and no additional amount to be raised from taxation in this tax year. This will be a non-lapsing appropriation for RSA 32, colon 7, comma 6, and shall not lapse until the work is completed or by March 31st, 2020, whichever is soon. A majority vote required. No tax impact requ recommended by the Board of Selectmen, 05. 50. Five oh, five five zero. I'm sorry. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. After Jenny seconds this, I'd like to make a comment. Sure. Okay. Would you like to second this? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to say it's now up to six cents per thousand. I'll say okay. No, no, no. This is the second one, Article Fred, where I see unassigned general fund balance, and it's my understanding. Oh, wait, 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 Tim. Did you second this? I did. He did. Good. He did. Okay, Barbara, seconded by Jenny. Go ahead, Tim. And it's my understanding it's actually called the unassigned fund balance. So unassigned general fund balance. The actual phrase is unassigned general fund balance? That's what they put in the report. So we use this, what's in the report. That's what it's called. They change the name about every other year. I noticed that. It's yes. like, it's like a, a yeah. Yeah. I mean, Kept everybody refers silver, to you know? it as the unassigned <laughs> fund balance. That's why I'd rather just call it damn surplus, because everyone understands what that well, means. Well, but there's more than one unassigned <laughs> fund balance, so... <laughs> Is there? <coughs> yes, there is. Okay, this we're going to general funds on assigned. Funds. And we're going to talk about funds later on. <coughs> so, yeah, but that is not on the list of funds. Okay. <laughs> Nevertheless, we're not talking about funds right now. That's on our agenda for later on. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That's all I have. I'm ready to vote in favor of this as soon as you're ready to call for the vote, Mr. Okay. Chairman. Okay. Anybody else have a comment, Sonny? <clears throat> yeah, I see. It's a three. It's a potential of a three-year study. I mean, what's Takes time to acquire it. What do you have a question, Sonny? <coughs> yeah, I mean, there's nobody in the town that you don't know what to do to raise the the land so that the the flood it, the water stays where it's supposed to stay instead of coming perhaps, down the highway. <coughs> perhaps, uh, Mr. Welch, you could explain what Sonny perhaps give him some direction. This needs a professional engineering study. We're going to be working with the Army Corps of Engineers and other federal agencies and state agencies in order to try to put together a system that will address the flooding issues that we currently have in town that are getting worse. And they will get even more uh, on the, the, the bad side of the scale uh, because the town of Salisbury, 15 years ago, applied to the Army Corps of Engineers, and they are now building storm walls on the inside of the river. Mm -hmm. uh, so that all that water that used to go up into their marshes is now going to come down into us. It's going to be displaced and brought to us. So we need to actually have a very good professional study done and then apply for the appropriate funds and the, the federal funds and state funds in order to get corrective actions taken. Sonny, does that answer your question? Right. Pretty much, okay. Mind you, <coughs> mind you, this is $100,000 we're, we're moving forward on yeah, this. Right. That particular project that they did in Salisbury, Massachusetts, took, as Fred said, 15 years. It's been in the planning. They're just getting to it now. And we we are going to have to address this flooding, and this is step one. Yeah. Okay, It's a baby step, well, but step, we're, it's a step. It step has to be three taken. is the DPW gets... <clears throat> Let's start with step one. That's another okay. step. Okay. Anybody else have any questions about this one article? Brian, go ahead. <clears throat> <coughs> Have you done any engineering studies to any of these roads already? No. Any other questions, Brian? Um, no. 
not for flooding. Okay. Obviously, we, we you engineer new piping when it goes in and so on and so forth, but not for flooding. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Seeing none, those in favor of recommending this, please raise your hand. We have David, we have Tim, we have okay, we have Mike Plouffe and Steve LeBranch, Steve Henderson, Regina, Brian, Sonny, and Ginny. Good. Then we're that was everybody. Unanimous. First, 